Hi, this is Abul Klam. Welcome to CBC 7th Max video. Okay, kindly watch part 1 video before watching this part 2 video. Uh, the topic which we are discussing today is fractions and decimals. Okay, exercise 2.5. Exercise 2.5 uh, contains decimals. Okay, it uh, covers the topic decimals. Exercise 2.5, second question. Express as rupees using the decimals. Express as rupees using decimals. Okay, this is the question given to us. So, what what is the default we should know is 1 rupee equal to 100 pais. This will not be given in any question. So, this we should know earlier. So, 1 rupee equal to 100 pais or other way 1 pais equal to 1 by 100th of the rupee. 1 rupee equal to 100 pais or 1 pais equal to 1 by 100th of the rupee. Okay, now the question is given as 7 pais. So, when 1 pais is 1 by 100th of the rupee, 2 pais will be 2 by 100, 3 pais will be 3 by 100th of the rupee. 4 pies will be 4 by 100 of the rupee. So, whatever the number comes here, it will go there, right? So, we can easily now replace now. 7 pies will be, 7 pies will be, yes, very good. 7 by 100. What is 7 by 100? Either you can write 7 by 100 or 0 0.07 because the question clearly, the question is clearly mentioned as using decimal. You have to mention as decimal. So, better we can, this is fraction, right? 7 by 100 is fraction. So, 0 0.07 rupees. Okay, note it down or you can put the rupees symbol. Okay, 0 0.07. I hope you know how this 0 0.07. Since two zeros at the bottom, so the, the after any number, the decimal point will be here. Okay, any whole number is understood that decimal point at the end of the whole number. So, two numbers before it goes. So, 0 0.07. Clear? Shall we move on to second question? Second question. Seven rupees seven pies. Second question. Seven rupees seven pies. So let us do this question in two steps. So one rupee hundred pies. Seven one pies hundred uh, is uh, one by hundred rupees. So seven rupees one rupee hundred pies means. 7 rupees, 2 rupees, 200 pies, 3 rupees, 300 pies. So, 7 rupees first let us do this. 7 rupees will be 700 pies. Okay, take this data separately and then we will add the second data. Uh, along with this we have to add 7 pies, right. So, we have to add 7 pies. So, this 7 pies, just we add here, okay, 707 pies. Okay, just uh, let me combine this. So, total is 707 pies, but it should be written in rupees. Now, this is 707 pies. What I said? What I said? What I said is, when any number which is coming here will go there, right? So your last question, 7 pies went there. So, 707 will go here, 707 by 100 which is nothing but 7.07 .07 rupees note it down please note it down 7.07 .07 pies ok so shall we move on to next question shall we move on to question number 3 ok sec third question is just very simple just they have added so third question just they have added 77 rupees and 77 pies so 77 rupees as we know already 77 rupees will be equal to 700 7 and 7700 pies right because any rupee just to zero will be added at the end one rupee means 100 two rupee means 200 seven rupees means 700 77 rupees means just two zeros will be suffixed at the end so next 77 pies should be added to this 77 pies so once i add 77 pies to this so what will happen 7700 plus 77 so this total together is 7777 now i am getting the total of 7777 this pie should be written as 7777 pies how much is rupees whatever the number is here it will go to the numerator. So, 7700 by 77 by 100 is nothing but 77.77 .77 rupees. 
hope you would have enjoyed this class thanks for watching this video kindly watch part 3 video for the continuous continuation thank you